might be uh, only a little tone, but uh, what you're hearing here that has Doppler shift on it is uh, an old satellite CO Charlie Oscar 55 that you could see here uh, passing by right now on uh, my map. This is something that I uh, I remember reading about. Uh, so now you're wondering why it's just a tone. This satellite used to have that used to be the beacon in Morse code. But what happened over time is that the beacon got stuck and it just now transmits a continuous tone. I remember I had read about this in a magazine at some point. You know, you might say, well, I don't see what's interesting in listening to this, but just think about it with, you know, a receiver at home, you're actually getting a satellite in orbit. And I mean, this is with very modest equipment, uh, mobile vertical outside on the metal shed. I mean, pretty amazing when you think about it. So Charlie Oscar 55, we hear the tone, at least we know that it's still transmitting but it's a continuous tone that uh, follows the Doppler shift. And once again, it's funny because I get people that don't know what they're talking about saying, well, why does your radio drift so much? Radio doesn't drift. This is Doppler shift because the satellite moves very fast. It's a physical effect on the radio waves. And also you use that because it gives you an idea and you know that you're listening to a satellite when there's Doppler shift on the signal. So Charlie Oscar 55 satellite on the ICOM ICR-8500 received today. Keep in mind that if you listen to satellites that are in a UHF range, it's a little more difficult than the ones on the VHF range. They tend to have a weaker signal. So that's something to, uh, to note if you want to try one of those. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.